Good day and welcome to Partakers. We're starting a new brief series of four podcasts based on a session I did at the recent Christians in New Media Awards and Conference. This session addressed the question of how more traditional churches and those with older congregations can use new media without excluding people. Now, you may well be asking, what is this new media, or social media as it is also known? It is websites, blogs, mobile applications, video, audio, and social networks such as Facebook and Twitter. Indeed, how you're hearing this is part of new media. At this conference, we were given the opportunities to investigate how to do those things to a greater degree of skill than when we commenced. This series is based on my session about putting that knowledge into practice. Now, instead of using our question each time I want to address this, I have summed it up into one word. Tickle. Here is what tickle stands for. T. To teach and train. I. To interact and inspire. C. To create and communicate. K. To be kind and to kindle. L. To love and to learn. And E. To encourage and explore. So by the time this short series is over, hopefully we will have learned a bit more about the art of tickling and how to get people doing it. However, before we know how to tickle, there are two questions to answer. Our first question is why. You may well be here and not know why you should be using new media and tickling. Why do we want to know how to use new media and include everybody? The Church of the New Testament had the three R's. They were seen as radical, they were seen to be taking risks as led by the Holy Spirit, and they were seen to be relevant to their local communities. How far from this has your own church gone? And tickling in using new media can show churches acting as a community, It gives the excluded and elderly an opportunity to know they are loved, valued and included. It gives those same people the chance to use their talents and spiritual gifts. And lastly, further along those lines, it gives them an opportunity to further enhance and be trained in the use of their talents and knowledge. So that's why. But now a second question remains before we get to how to tickle. That question is, who are we excluding in our churches, either deliberately or accidentally, from using new media? Here are the kinds of people in our churches who I think are generally excluded from actively participating. The elderly, the home confined and isolated, for want of a better word, the disabled, homeless people, they come to church as well. How about the poor, financially poor and technologically poor? And then lastly, the disinterested and self-excluded. So, can you think of any more groups? Part two will be tomorrow, and that will be about ways in which I have tickled and included others who may usually be excluded from using new media. See you then. Thank you.